Tony, great to have you with us this morning. Great to be back. Awesome. Tony, what have you got for us this morning? Yeah, my message this morning, you know, when we go, as we're going into the weekend, comes out of my own experience. Uh, and I'm talking about holding space. Mm -hmm. Uh, for me, as a qualified social worker, I was very confused about that term when, it, when I came across it. And uh, I'm going to explain a little bit more about that just now. But holding space is such a wonderful gift we could share with loved ones. Okay. And especially with what has been happening over the last past few months, you mm -hmm. know, with all the drama that we've experienced, people needed us to be there. But holding space is about being there in the person's pain, mm -hmm. you know. And it's not about judging, and that's one of the things that we tend to judge or we tend to question or we tend to kind of analyze what experience the person has gone through, and it's not what is called for. Holding space is about <coughs> being there physically, mentally, and emotionally. And all three aspects need to be there. The emotion, you need to be there emotionally connected, you need to be there physically connected, mm -hmm. you need to be there mentally connected. You know, very often we have people that sit down and they would you then say, oh, listen, I've got to go now, I'm in hurry. And it's, you know, we've got to just be aware of that thing. So when you are sharing space, when you're holding space with someone, you've got to be there for that person while he or she goes through the experience that they've been through. Correct. You know, also, we don't know what to say and you know, what to do. It's quite, mm -hmm. we, we understand that. But the thing is, there's nothing that we need to say. There's nothing that we need to do except to just be there and appreciate the fact that we can do that, that for the person. We also need to create a safe space when we're doing that. And that's what everyone wants when they've gone through some tragic experience. Yes. You know, just to feel safe in that space there is so crucial. Mm -hmm. right? Also, as I said, don't judge. Yes. You know, we don't want to suddenly become judgmental. And I, as a social worker, I used to also counsel, and I mm -hmm. thought maybe that's what was required, and it it's was not. not. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not about them asking for social work services. It's not about them asking for anything, it's just for you to be there in person, in person. mentally, physically, and, and uh, uh, emotionally. The other thing that we tend to do, which we need to avoid is, don't make it about ourselves. Yeah. Don't bring in your experiences. Oh yes, I remember when I went through this. This is not what the person wants to hear. You know? They're not interested, they don't have the time, they don't have the energy, and they don't have that need that you have to now fill them up with what you've been through. This is not an opportunity for you to offload what you've been through. Yes, I respect the fact that we've all been through similar incidents, yes, but so. that's not the time to offload. That's not the time to share. Okay. Okay? Also, we need to be aware of the fact that when we're sitting down with this person, we've got to make it genuinely known that we believe in them. Yes, so. We believe in them. You know, this is not about saying, well, I'm not too sure whether this happened or what this happened and kind of stuff like that. Believe in what is the person's going through. Mm -hmm. And also, when you're sitting with this person, is to be ready to expect any emotion to come through. And say to the person, I love you and I'm going to be here until you process all of what you're going through. That's amazing. And that's mm -hmm. important. That's what the person wants. So when we actually allow that person that space and that time, they feel so much more better knowing that you were there for them, for all the right reasons. And it's, it's so true because a lot of times the person wanting to help, you know, they feel obligated that they have to be, you know, say these wise words and, and come up with a solution. And that's yeah. not always the case. Yeah. Like you say, sometimes they just want to be heard. Yeah. They just want someone in yeah. their presence where yeah. they feel safe, like yes. you said, and comfortable and where they're able to be vulnerable. Yes. You know, yeah. talk to you about absolutely. absolutely everything. Absolutely. Just allow them that space. It's theirs, not mm. yours. And it's also about empathy. You know, it's, it, it's feeling the pain, feeling what the person goes through. And it's not about you bringing any other stuff in and making them feel any more guilty of what Correct. they've gone through. Mm -hmm. And why I'm bringing this topic in right now, Angie, is that we're approaching the festive season. Yes. And you know, we've mm. got all this kind of emotions that's gonna start to rise in this Absolutely. time as well, especially with what's gonna hap happen to the lockdown and, and COVID. Mm -hmm. So when we're holding space, yes. let's be there for the right reasons in the right frame of mind and to do what we should be doing. Absolutely. And especially that. for everyone who's gone through some of the tragedies these past few weeks. Right? Thank you so much. That's so my much. message for the weekend and I hope that <laughs> people can appreciate that and take it further. I do as think we go. so. No, it's not always something somebody wants to hear. Yes. So that is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you for that. We appreciate that and we'll see you next week. Yes. Have thanks. A great Anne. weekend. Great. You too.